Alongside Brent Hubbs, I'm Austin Price for the VolQuest.com stock report on this Auburn week. Brent, stock up for you this week. Hi, I'm going to go with Brent Samaglia. He was uh, two of two at Arkansas, including a 50-yard kick for the Vols' first point. Should have got another opportunity, but Jeremy Pruitt elected not to kick a, a field goal. He went for it on fourth down there. But, you know, Brent got off to a, a slow start, one of his first three. But he's come back now, and he's made three in a row and seems to have got himself back on track. So I'm going to give the senior kicker a stock up. For me, I'm going to go stock up Harrison Bailey. Uh, did Ooh. what they asked him to do at Arkansas. Um has supposedly had two good weeks of practice, um, you know, has continually gotten better. When we've seen him, he, he's looked better. Now, is he setting the world on fire? No, but he's doing what the coaches have asked him to do, which isn't a whole lot because they're playing at so vanilla. But, uh, you know, I think you have to go stock up Harrison Bailey because he's much better now than what he was when he first got to campus. Stock down for you. Well, for me, Austin, it's got to be the third quarter. Um, to say it's a disaster for this team would be a gross understatement. Maybe Arkansas might have been their worst performance in the third quarter all season long, and we all know how bad that performance was at Georgia. But to give up 24 points at Arkansas in the third quarter and to not make a first down offensively in the third quarter, um, th this is a team that's just been horrific uh, to start the second half for whatever reason. My stock down is going to be – what leads into the third quarter, and that's halftime. Because, you know, something's happening when they go in at halftime and in between when they go in and when they come out, it's two different groups. And, you know, that, that third quarter has been disastrous, but whatever is going on at halftime needs to get fixed. One would think you're making adjustments at halftime, Brent, but I don't see a whole lot that they adjust to in third quarter. So halftime needs to be better. Third quarter needs to be better. Maybe if that happens, Tennessee might have a chance to be in the fourth quarter and be in a football game. So uh, that's kind of where I'm at. Stock stagnant for me. I'm going to go Ty Chandler's ankle. Obviously was uh, a one carry and done at Arkansas, which meant that uh, Jabari Small got a lot of run. Uh, he's had now two weeks to kind of get healthy. And uh, we'll see where that ankle is come Saturday night on the Plains. For me, it's Groundhog Day. It's the broken record, Austin. It's the freshman. Uh, I don't want to hear heard, about it. We've heard more about him this week than, than we've heard in the last few weeks about what a good week they've had from Harrison Bailey to Coach Pruitt mentioning the wide receivers specifically by name, that freshman group. Uh, but we'll see. They haven't played them, you know, so maybe it's all hype. Maybe they're not as good as everybody thinks that they are or thought they would be. Um, maybe they just can't get them ready. I don't know, but they're stagnant to me until I see them on the field performing uh, because we've been hearing about them all year and we just haven't seen them. So I'm leaving those guys. It's not their fault, but I'm leaving those guys at stock stagnant right now. Before we get out the door, I'll throw in an extra stock stagnant. That being Tennessee's offensive explosiveness that Jeremy Pruitt's called for. Until I see it, I'm not going to believe it. And it's going to be more middle school mal handing it off, handing it off and punting it away. So for Brent Hubs, I'm Austin Price. This has been the VolQuest Stock Report for Auburn Week.